In this video I just want to show you how to create some snow-capped mountains uh, using Adobe Illustrator. We will be using the flat design technique as well. This is an example of how the finished product is going to look. And here's an example of how we could also use those snow-capped mountains in another design. Alrighty, so let's get started today by heading up to our file menu, going to New, selecting the Web Templates, and then choosing the 1280 by 1024 pixel document. Click Create when you're ready to go. From here we're just going to throw in a background, so you'll need your Rectangle tool for that. So in your toolbox, select your Rectangle tool. Just remove the stroke, if there's one on, and for your fill colour, I want you to choose a nice light blue. Okay, feel free to use the colour mixer to get a blue that you're happy with. Something like that'll do. And we're going to start in the top left corner, click and drag down to the bottom right corner. And there's our background. In your Layers panel, just expand Layer 1, click on that rectangle and hit this empty box here next to the little eye to lock it into position. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is start our um, snow-capped mountains. So what we're going to do is we're going to change from our rectangle tool to our polygon tool. We're going to change our fill colour just to a light grey. Now you need to click on the page and ensure that the number of sides that you want usually sets to 6 by default, but we want to set it to 3 because we are going to make a triangle. The radius, it doesn't matter what you put here because we're going to resize it anyway, but I'll just put 250 pixels for now. Click OK. Once your uh, mountain comes in or your triangle comes in, grab your selection tool, hold shift and just stretch it out so it's a pretty big size on your page. You want to take up a fair amount of the page and just move it a little bit to the right because we are going to have a second mountain on the left very shortly. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a shadow that covers half of this mountain. And the way we do that is we just go back to our rectangle tool and in our properties make sure that your fill colour is set to black. And we're going to click and drag a rectangle that goes over half of the triangle like so. We'll change its opacity to about 20%. And then using the selection tool again we're just going to select both of those shapes. Click on the Shape Builder tool in our toolbox, so this one here, and hold Alt on your keyboard and just click and drag into that extra black space out here next to the triangle. And that will just chop away all the bits we don't need and just leave this darker bit on our triangle. Okay, so that is our first mountain basically done, minus the snow. So we'll copy all, or not copy at all, we'll just select it all and then right click on it and group it. Alrighty, we'll do the same again for a second mountain, but we'll just use a slightly darker shade of grey this time. So with our polygon tool, change the fill colour to a darker grey. And we'll draw in a triangle. You can simply hold shift and draw it on. Or, like we've been doing in the past, click once on your screen. Make sure you've got three sides and click OK. Use your selection tool just to resize it. Not quite as big as the first one. We'll probably only go down to, let's see, about that size I reckon. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a shadow on this one as well. Okay, so do it the same way. Grab your poly, uh, sorry, rectangle tool. Just make sure you've clicked off everything as well. You don't want anything selected. And we're going to change the fill colour to black. From here we're going to click and drag over half of this mountain. Actually, it's the other half we want. We want the shadows coming out the other side, so I'll just move that shadow over to that side. And from here, we're going to change the opacity. We'll try 20% again. There you go. Now, we're going to click off and then select by clicking and dragging with our selection tool just the new mountain and the new black rectangle we've drawn. We'll then use the Shape Builder tool to get rid of this extra space out here. Okay, so you're going to need to hold ALT, click and drag in that extra space, and that will delete it. Okay, using your selection tool again, just click and drag over those new shapes and group them together by right-clicking on them and selecting Group. While this is selected, we also want to right-click on it and just arrange it and send it backward so it goes behind this lighter-coloured mountain. Alright, so I've got the darker one in the background, 
and a lighter one up forward. Now we just need to add the snow caps to the mountain. Okay, that's easy to do using the pen tool. So grab the pen tool from your tool box. I'm going to zoom in around the lighter coloured tip first of all. I'm going to change my fill colour here to white. And all I'm going to do is click right in that top point. Click once. Come down a little bit. Click again. And you just need to do some jagged lines that will represent the snow-capped mountain. Okay, and when you're done, just press Escape a couple of times, and then just move over to the other mountain and do a similar kind of design. Okay, you might make it look a little bit different if you want. Yeah, it looks a bit unco that one, but that'll do the job. As we zoom back out here, you can see now we've got our snow-capped mountains. If you want to, you can just highlight the mountains with their snow and right-click and group them. And do the same for this one over on the right, just select them. Another way to group items, instead of right-clicking and grouping them, okay, you could just highlight them and press Control g on your keyboard. That's a quick way of um, grouping them. Now you might have noticed that this little one snuck in front. So just right-click on it, arrange it, and send it backward as well. So it's just behind the bigger mountain. Alrighty, so that's how you make snow-capped mountains using the flat design technique in Adobe Illustrator.